जी जी दिस इज एन आउटर सम स्टडी ऑफ अ बबल रिलेटेड पैथोलॉजी एज आई एम स्कैनिंग इन दी एपी गैस्ट्रिक रीजन एंड देयर इज बबल सेगमेंट वेयरिंग अप्रोक्सीमेटली 8.8 by 3.8 cm with central ecogenic lumen dirty shadow and the wall measuring 10.6 more than 5 is considered pathological however the wall is regular even in this section we see this now here comes the the cause of the pathology that is bowel related most probably the stomach funeral region there is a solid mass ecogenic relating to the bowel segment in this region that may be right in the epigastric region so this this is uh, now this is this portion is the mass and this portion this region is the bowel and the area where we are scanning is very much consistent with being the body of the stomach and this is the solid ecogenic mass measuring approximately 4.5 into 5 4 cm so this is a bowel related mass this is bowel and uh, this is the lumen of the bowel which is collapsed this is mass okay does this solid area relate to the uh, pancreas let's see that you should the brother we should always see this you can see the mass with internal calcification this is the mass and this these are the internal calcification the mass is rather well defined as a halo around this is a halo and this is the pancreas now this is the pancreatic tissue this area and this uh, mass solid mass with internal few internal cystic areas so heterogeneous mass uh, is away from the pancreas as this is the pancreatic region this is the body of the pancreas let's see if it will uh, relate to the all better because i gave you the confusion in the very early stage now this is the gold bladder now you see that this is the gold bladder small calculus and uh, at its neck region this is the portal vein this is the fatty liver so no relation with the now this is the left lobe of the liver in transverse section no secondary uh, this is the left lobe of the liver yes the, so the mass is not related to the liver so this is the left lobe of the liver in longitudinal section this is the 
uh, left lobe of the liver in transfer section. Kidney. This maps. If we see the both holes clear, it does not relate to the kidney. As you can see that the upper river poles both are clear. River does not relate to the river. So they will do. The first thing I think. Aorta. In the longitudinal section, the portal vein, the pancreatic head. This is, excuse me, now this is the portal vein, this is the head of the pancreas. Both are patient. Portal vein is not dilated and the head of the pancreas is normal. And we did so that the uh, body of the pancreas, the tail of the pancreas, both everything is normal otherwise. This is the upper segment. This is the fundus of the gallbladder. Uh, sorry, the fundus of the stomach. This is the fundus of the stomach and you can see the bowel movements. You can see trapped air within its lumen. And as I move towards the center or mediary, here I come across a heterogeneous mass. Okay, now this is the mass, this is the power. This is the left renal vein, you know, it courses anterior to the aorta, this is the aorta and uh, this is, it, it ends up, it enters the IVC. Pancreatic duct is not dilated. No para-aortic plan adenopathy is seen, this is the aorta. This is in summary now. If I take the you see, I sweep to from left subposterior region, angling the probe towards the patient's head, and I move the probe towards the right side subcostally. We can conclude that this is a bowel related mass relating to the stomach. This is the IVC in transfer section. This is the aorta in transfer section. This is the superior mesenteric artery. This is the clinic uh, superior mesenteric artery. This is the mass. And see you cannot separate it from the problem. Thank you.